A big shakeup early in the Tennessee high school football season. Greenville High School now forfeiting its opening night win against Tennessee High. What was a 54-7 victory on August 23rd is now a loss after the school self-reported playing an ineligible student athlete in the game. The school learned of the issue August 28th. The student athlete was accidentally omitted from the eligibility paperwork submitted to the TSSAA. News Channel 11's Leah Johnson spoke with Greenville High School leaders about the incident. On August 28th, a mistake was made, leading to the high school football team forfeiting their first game of the season against Tennessee High. I was completing uh, a roster uh, details uh, tab uh, with the TSSAA portal and uh, realized that there was a mistake. A student on the team who participated in the game was not eligible to play. Athletic Director Brad Woolsey says once he realized there was a mistake, he reported the issue to the Tennessee Secondary School Athletic Association. We addressed that issue with the TSSAA, uh, sought guidance, uh, followed the guidance, and got it resolved. It was important for uh, Mr. Woolsey and I to be able to deliver the message to our students personally. So we had a meeting yesterday yesterday morning where we called all of our football players in and also our coaches to be able to deliver that message to them and to tell them that our focus is always on our students and that we are sincerely sorry for the mistake that has been made. Football is a tough sport where wins are hard to come by. To tell his team that they'd have to forfeit a game wasn't easy for Woolsey. It hurts me to know uh, that they don't get credit for the game that they played, um, but a mistake was made on my part and uh, I regret that. Um, personally, it's hard to, to look them in the eye and say that, but um, man, they, they, they've given great effort. Uh, they've done everything they need to do, and uh, so we're excited for what they're going to do moving forward. Greenville High School principal Deanna Martin says she commends Woolsey for coming forward and reporting the mistake. It's a great lesson for our students to tell them when we make a mistake, we own that mistake and then move forward from there. Woolsey says he did submit a hardship application that has been approved effective on September 3rd. In Greenville, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11.